American steam engine, reciprocating water displacement gravity engine number four, powered by a low pressure blower, uses about uh, five and a half amps, 120 volt, this has got inlet, outlet valve, double reciprocating ratchet and crankshaft system, uh, floats inside these chambers, this is sealed, Flow it out here and free. I move the water from this chamber to that chamber using these inlet and outlet valves. Now I'm going to generate electricity using this permanent magnet generator. It's a 2000 watt generator. It's kind of big for what I'm doing here. Got a rectifier, voltmeter. Got a couple tail lights hooked up to here. A little fan too. I'm going to use air, low pressure air, to move water to generate electricity. In this demonstration. All the power to the crankshaft is caused by the gravity due to the buoyancy and gravity. It's a buoyancy gravity engine. And it can be used for uh, very low pressure air steam applications. This one's made entirely out of wood and built with uh, a screwdriver basically and some glue. And uh, some pipe fittings and bicycle hubs. But there, this engine can be scalable to any size, gigantic, as big as you want, size of football fields. And it'd be a pretty mean motor, that big. Um, that's it. I'm making, I'm converting 120 uh, AC to DC. So I'm, I got a rectifier. And uh, that's about it. Oh, my voltmeter fell down. I might not have got that.